often do you think about the food you eat? Where it comes from, its quality, or its safety? Increasingly, we see food scares in the news. Food fraud affects some 10% of the world's food supply, with thousands of tons of substandard or illegal food being seized each year by Interpol. Spectroscopy can help with this problem, often through simple reflections measurement, as we are showing here. Reflection spectroscopy is non-destructive, which means that it works equally well for spot checks, lot sampling, or testing of every single fruit or vegetable. It's also fast, so it can be used for sorting, incoming quality control, or at all points within the food supply chain. The quality of produce is a great example of this, as ripeness and moisture content often change while en route to market. Some produce is harvested early, for example, bananas that are designed to ripen in climate-controlled storage on the way to market. As a consumer, you probably want to know if the fruit or vegetable you're buying is ripe. Is it crunchy? But until you bite into that peach, you really don't know if it's going to be juicy, flavorful, or if it's going to turn out to be mealy and dry. Here, we've put together a reflection measurement system to look at moisture and other parameters relevant to ripeness. The tungsten halogen lamp shines visible in near infrared light onto the surface of the fruit or vegetable, and reflected light is carried back to the spectrometer. One is a visible spectrometer, covering 400 nanometers and upwards to the near infrared. The second is a near infrared spectrometer that extends the range out to 1600. Here, we've taken data looking at three different parameters within the fruit or vegetable. One is the anthocyanin content. Anthocyanins typically give fruits and vegetables their red or purple color, and thus are relevant to the ripeness of the fruit. Anthocyanins also have powerful antioxidant properties, and thus can be an indication of healthfulness. As we all know, chlorophyll gives plants their green color, and is also useful in determining ripeness of fruits and vegetables. The third parameter we're looking at is moisture content, which is relevant to ripeness, firmness, and also the crunchiness of a fruit or vegetable. The anthocyanins we're measuring are at 440 to 450 nanometers. Chlorophyll is typically between 650 and 700 nanometers. And here, for moisture, we're looking at overtones of the water bands in the near infrared. The flame vis spectrometer is looking at visible light reflected from the skin of the fruit or vegetable, which gives us information about the pigment level, which can be then correlated to ripeness, or can be used to determine the variety in combination with chemometrics telling a gala apple from, say, a red delicious. Visible spectroscopy is also useful in a number of food integrity applications, where it can be used to conclusively identify whiskeys by brand, spot dyes or fillers added to spices, or even determine whether chlorophyll has been added to oil in order to imitate extra virgin olive oil. Our flame NIR spectrometer looks at near-infrared light from 900 to 1700 nanometers. Near-infrared light probes deeper into the tissue of the fruits and vegetables, allowing you to look at things like sugar and moisture content, or, in the case of soybeans, at the ratio of oil to protein. We've helped customers develop solutions for all kinds of food integrity challenges, using spectroscopy techniques like absorbance, fluorescence, and SIRS. Food quality and safety affects us all, and spectroscopy can help. To learn more about this and other applications, go to oceanoptics.com.